Please pay attention to the safety briefing. You will not be allowed to carry on any work or visit any area on Altus Optimus until you have watched this video and signed your acknowledgement. As this vessel operates a system of continuous control for persons boarding or leaving, you will be asked to sign our visitor's login on the gangway and you will be given a visitor's ID which you will have to keep visible at all times. Also, you might be subject to a security search as part of our security system implemented on board. All visitors and contractors must be aware of what to do in the event of an emergency while on board. It is essential for you to be able to evacuate the area you are in quickly and safely. Make sure to get to know the layout of the ship. and the location of the exits and escape routes. When you go to your work area, make sure you observe the following. The location of fire extinguishers, break glass alarm points which are to be used to raise the alarm in the event of an emergency, and the escape routes of the work area. An onboard emergency is indicated by the continuous ringing of the ship's alarm bells. On hearing the alarm, stop work. Make the work area safe and proceed ashore immediately by the safest route if the vessel is at port and to your designated buster station if at sea. If you discover a fire, raise the alarm by activating a break glass point. Only attempt to extinguish a fire if it is safe to do so. Leave the affected area immediately, close all doors and do not put yourself at risk. This is a working ship with many potential hazards. Always be aware of any crane operations and overhead slang loads and keep out of the way of other work operations being carried out, especially if you're not involved in them. When outside of the accommodation area, you must wear the correct personal protective equipment, hard hat, coveralls, safety glasses and safety footwear. This ship operates a permit-to-work system, tasks such as hot work, entry into closed spaces, working aloft and working on pressure or electrical systems must be carried out under the control of a permit-to-work, which will be issued at the bridge by the officer on duty. All tasks are subject to risk assessment before the job commences. Supervisors of contractors are responsible for ensuring that all checks are complied with and must sign the permit as the person supervising the work. Full briefing of the work to be performed, precautions to be taken and conditions specified in the permit to work will be given when the permit is issued. When working, always follow the permit to work procedures. Take all precautions and use the personal protective equipment appropriate to the task you are performing and specified on your permit to work. On completion of work, the permit must be returned to the bridge for cancellation. The accommodation area is designated as a clean area. This means that boots and overalls are not allowed. When entering the accommodation area, always use the plastic shoe covers provided. This ship operates a smoking policy which restricts smoking to certain designated areas. Smoking in any other place is forbidden. Also, a zero alcohol and drugs policy is strictly in place. Please make sure you always work and act safely. Remember that you are responsible for your own safety while on board this ship. If at any time you witness an unsafe act or a situation which is likely to compromise safety, stop the work immediately and report it. As your safety and the safety of all personnel is of paramount importance to us, we expect you to comply with the highest standards of safety required from everyone on board this ship. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you for your attention.